How are you guys? Good night. How are you guys doing? Hi. So pretty good. Good night. Hi, good hey, night. Gabby. Hey, Leo. How are you? Pretty good, good Cody. What about good you? Good night. Very well, thank you. That's amazing. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Liz. Hi, Pam. Hi. What happened, Liz? Hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Okay, let me turn it up my camera. I comb my hair. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh, Claudia Enrique, I, now I see you. I love your hair. I love your hair. It's amazing. I like the curls and I like the colors. It's amazing. Thank you. Hey, Gabby Velasquez, she's on the difference. Hey, where are you, Gabby? Your microphone is off. It's off. So you gotta turn it on your microphone. Oops. 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 No, just kidding. I'm in my boyfriend's house. Ah, that's the reason why I'm like, what's the background? <laughs> really? Yes. That's nice. Now you're in a different place. <laughs> yes. Hey, how was your your day? Was it good? Really good. It was, I had a chance to practice uh, on the platform. Ooh. How do you say platform? Platform. Platform, yeah. Hey, congratulations. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> no, yes, thank you. Very good. Hopefully you can finish the section two today. That would be awesome. We only have, yeah, you know what? We have, uh, yes, three girls and three boys. Thank you, Jaime. Edwin and Leo was like, oh my God, only the two of us? No way. But no, Jaime came in to rescue them. So that was great. Thank you, Jaime. Jaime, now you look tired today. You're like, like <laughs> I am. Yes, right. You see it now, it's on your face. It has been a tough day for you? It was a sad day, actually. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a, a friend of mine that at work passed away. Oh no! Yeah, because of the of the disease, because of COVID. Yes. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Was it an old man or younger like you? Younger, forty-one years old. Oh my God, he was younger. But yeah. he already had like any health problems. Yes, yes. Uh, mm. Oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, that's why you are like that. I understand, don't worry. But I, I really appreciate that even though it's not been a really good day for you, you're still here, okay? Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Um, I have Elsie, Albi, Gabby Sanchez, and Lisa. Very good job. Guys, have you done your homework? Be honest yeah. with me. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, no, all no. right. Else is like no. At least so, Elsie so. said no. So so. Yeah. What happened? And why is you so so? I'm just coming from work. Right, that's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you had the night to do it. Or was it a little no, bit hard for I'm you? I'm just. Was? I'm just coming. Now. You just have arrived. Oh, May all I ask afternoon you? at the place I work. Uh, do you I have like a night shift? No. 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 Oh. No. And I had to leave everything ready for tomorrow's operation. Oh, got it. I understand. So basically it was a really hard day for you, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that. But you make it for today. You make it, yeah. So you're here in class, uh, yeah. which I'm really happy about it. Okay, if don't worry, because if you haven't had time to do it, we're going to do it today, right, in class. So don't worry about okay. it. Uh, Liz, I want you, because today you're going to give me the class, guys. You're going to be the teacher and going to be the student. How does it sound? Me. <laughs> Everybody, come on. <laughs> no, 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 don't keep, no, They're like, oh my god <laughs> yeah i think at least almost like no way you, you know, i'm surprised <laughs> yeah you know what when i said that you couldn't have you seen lisa uh, 
eyes, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> she almost got panicked because of that. Nah, of course, we're going to practice because I want to check it out, guys. If you understood the grammar about fewer, less, about enough, etc. That's what we're going to practice because remember that yesterday we have seen and we uh, talk, talk about transportation services, but at the same time, we have seen some time expressions that we can use when we like to talk about um, problems, right? Any kind of problems that we do have. And we focus on the transportation services. I uh, just want to know, guys, if you understood, but just to make a recap, because I just want you guys to be clarified on the fewer and less expression. Remember that we saw just yesterday and I, I explained it to you a little bit faster, but I tried to make like a slate for today just to make as simple as possible for you to understand difference and to be more clarified. And after that, I'm gonna show it to you right now. And after that, we can re review, we can review as a group the homework, okay? But teacher, sorry. Uh, yes, Cody. I didn't do it because I didn't understand where I had to copy the homework or... Ah, no, no, no. It's, it's a homework, it's a information that I sent to the WhatsApp group. And, uh, and you're I, not there. Um. Right now it is because in the morning I called to the person who uh, add, added, added, added? Uh, added to me. Ah, okay, okay. You call, yes, exactly. I couldn't add it to you because I'm not that administrative. It has to be somebody else, but now you are. But don't worry, don't worry, Claudia. From now on, you're going to be in the WhatsApp, so you will be able to see all the homeworks that I'm gonna send. But right now, we're going to do this. It's gonna be like a recap, and we're going to do it together, okay? So don't worry about that. All righty, very good. We have Rosa Dahlia. We got Marilyn Monroe here. We have Mr. Josue Torres. We have Brandy, Anita, Blanky. So we're good. We're good, ready to rock and roll, guys. Woohoo! that's amazing. Yeah, okay, so let me share right now my screen just to explain it to you a little bit about the two words, fewer and less, right? Okay, so just allow me a couple of minutes. There we go. And let me know, guys, if you're able to see my screen or if you want me to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Is it okay right now? It's okay. It's okay, it's guys. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yes, okay. It's okay. Okay, guys. So this is what I want you to just to remember. Okay. The difference between less and fewer. Remember, guys, that these are the two uh, quantity, expression of quantity that we use to talk about. Um, countable and countable nouns, but as well to talk about uh, city problems, for example, okay? So, I, you know what? I make it like a, a little bit funny in sentences because everybody loves, um, have you listened or have you heard about the cookie monster? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> okay, I love cookie monsters by heart is it because I love cookies. <laughs> so I have uh, taken him as an example. Just, just for you to, to make a friendly reminder. Okay, guys, so this is the first thing, the, the meaning of fewer. Fewer means not as many. And guys, we use it with what? With count nouns, okay? And let me give you an example here. This is the example. Cookie Monster has told to eat fewer cookies. That means Cookie Monster was told to eat not as many cookies. Is it understand the sentence, guys? Yes. And why fewer? Because what is in here, guys, in this particular sentence, uh -huh, what is the subject here? You mean, Cookie you monster. see what is a countable noun? Cookie. Cookie. And why, and why we know that it, that is countable? Because if you can see, guys, we can pluralize it, right? We can say cookie or we can say cookies. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so you remember that fewer, we use it for countable nouns. And in this case, cookie is a countable noun because I can pluralize it. Is this particular first example, is it understandable? Yes, it is. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Like cookies, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> All righty. 
Well, let me check right now. Fewer. Now few. What now less, which is the one that we use for uncountable nouns. What does it mean? Well, not as much. And we use it, for example, I'll give you an example. Remember milk, guys? Mm -hmm. Milk is uncountable noun. Like in token in general, right? If I put it in a glass or in a bottle, yes, you can count it. But the but the word or the uh, milk in general, you cannot count it. Like sugar or like rice, for example. So also I make an example using my dear friend, Cookie Monster. And then I I this this question. Could you give Cookie Monster less milk next time? You see, what does it mean? Could you give Cookie Monster not as much milk next time? Where is the uncountable now? Here. Milk. Mm -hmm. milk. Milk, exactly. And take a look at something, guys, because when you use fewer and when you use less, if you if you double check at the, um, the sentences, the quantity or the expression of quantity is has to be before the countable noun or before the uncountable noun. Do you see that? Can you see it? You see? Yes, it teacher. goes before. So I just make this just for you to do it like as a friendly reminder because it's really important that you also understand what does it mean in order for you to use it in the correct way. So let me ask you guys, what does the meaning of fewer? What does it mean? We have seen it a few seconds ago. What does it mean the word fewer? Not that many. Not as many. Very yes. good. Very good. Should I use it with countable or uncountable now? Countable. 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 Exactly. Countable now. Mm -hmm. And she should be supposed to be countable now. Should I put it before the countable now or after the countable now? Before. 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 Excellent. Like the example of the cookie monster, right? You see, I love cookie monster by heart. It's so sweet. All righty. What about the word less? What does it mean? Not, Not as, as much. Not as much. Exactly. In this case, I use it with, with what kind of nouns? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable nouns. Exactly. And should I also put it before the uncountable noun or after? Before. 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 Exactly. Guys, also, I think in the, in the example or in the exercise that I gave it to you, I also, you also saw one other word, right? The word enough, right? Enough. enough. Yeah. What does enough. it mean in Spanish? Do you remember that? Suficiente. 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 Exactly. Very good. So do you remember, guys, that with the countable now, we're going to use the word, the, the verb to be, right? Is or are. So because this word enough, you can use it with both count, with both nouns, with uncountable nouns and uncountable nouns. What is going to be the difference? Well, the verb to be that you use. For example, may I ask you, with uncountable nouns, could I pluralize it? No. 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 Okay. No. So exactly. So I cannot pluralize the uncountable now. So if I decide to use enough with uncountable noun, which bird to be should I use? R yes. or is? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Because you have to remember always that since it's uncountable now, always will be in singular. Yes. Always. In countable nouns, you always will have it in plural because, yeah. of course, you can count it. You can pluralize it. You can also say there aren't uh, enough parking spaces in my neighborhood, for example. You can say like that. But you can also say there isn't enough what? Parking. Uh-huh. Any, any example here? There isn't enough parking. Very good, exactly. 
you're talking about parking in general, right? If I'm talking about parking lots, I'm talking about something physical, right? Sorry, so, teacher. Space. Yes, Claudia. Oh, yes. So sorry. Uh, uh, when you use uh, mm -hmm. the countdown nouns, you can use in plural and in singular. Yes, exactly. The difference it will be what kind of noun you're going to use. Mm -hmm. If you use, for example, uncountable noun, you're you need to put it in singular because uncountable nouns you cannot pluralize it. But if you decide to use a countable noun, like for example, parking lot or a space or whatever, there is something that you can pluralize. So you're going to use the plural of the verb to be, which in this case is are, or in the negative way, aren't, okay? Mm -hmm. I got a question, teacher. Go ahead, Jamie, go ahead. In the case of the word fewer, you can use it in a countable noun and countable noun. No, fewer, you, you can use it only with countable noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to use it with uncountable. Sorry, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, Claudia. Oh, but sorry, it... Lisette. No. Sassy, I'm sorry. Claudia oh, my Cecilia. goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not, and, and I drunk chocolate. Supposedly it's for memory, <laughs> but no way. Okay, go ahead, Sassy. Uh, but there are a lot, uh, there are other uh, words, mm -hmm. a few. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes, Ceci, you are right. Uh, we have more than the ones that I show it to you right now. We have more quantity expressions. You are, you are right about that. We have a few and we have few as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. But uh, right now, I'm just focusing, guys, on the, on the quantity, um, expressions that it will help us to talk about basically uh, services problems or services situations in, in our city, in our neighbor, like bus transportation, like parking spaces, etc. I'm, I'm just using those right now because those are the ones that will help us with the topic that we're talking about. However, you're right about that, Ceci, that we have more a uh, um, words that express quantity than the one that we have seen. You're right about that. We have few and we have a few as well. Yes, you're right. But right now I'm going, I'm just focusing on too much, too many, a uh, fewer, less more. and enough right now. And more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And more. Exactly. Exactly, and, and there's a lot of a lot of them besides that one as well, Ceci. What I'm gonna do right now, guys, if you want to, like an extra um, material, I will send it to you, <laughs> all that we have right now. Well, at least the ones that I consider that it will help you right now, okay? I will send it to you like for extra thing, just to for you to have it, like we can say it in Spanish, pan para tu matata, right? I love that expression, you know? love it by heart i love it because it helps you mm -hmm. so i will send it to you just for you to have a, like an extra information okay mm -hmm. very good thank you ceci thank you ceci for asking that information and that oh. question there you go so guys may i ask you the use is fewer and less is it okay <sighs> yes Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. I'm just asking. Okay, cool. Very good. So now, guys, shall we go to the and double check our homework? Okay, let me double check right now. Okay, let me share right now my screen and there see what we have. Woo. All right, there you go. I found it. Okay, cool. Are you with me, guys? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah or no? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. I, I, I heard somebody yes. said, nah. like, oh my God, I said, no way. Okay. Cool, guys. So, no, I'm going to do this. We have, there are, right? So that means, guys, that we're going to use count nouns. That's for sure, right? And we have here, what is the, what is the noun? Police officer. police officer. Exactly. So, guys, that means that it's count now because I can't pluralize it. So, what is exactly that quantity of expression of quantity that I can use here? Too many. Yeah. 
many. Too many. Too, too many. many. There aren't many. too many police officers. There aren't. There aren't too many, or there aren't there enough. Are, what do you are, think? Uh -huh. There aren't too many, maybe. Police yeah. officers. There aren't too many. There aren't too many. Ah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. in my, uh, sorry, teacher. Uh huh. Go in my ahead. case, in my case, I use uh, fewer or enough. Uh huh. Because depends there on the situation. Enough. Uh huh. Exactly. That's what there I want you guys. There are fewer police uh -huh. officers. Yes. Very good, Claudia. This is a good observation, guys. Here, there are. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Uh -huh. positive. So I shouldn't use this, right? This is not. Because I, I I said they are, but also I can I cannot I cannot make it negative. So this is this is good. There are okay, so I need something here. Okay, we have police officers, that's for sure, but there are a lot of police officers, or there are fewer. Well, what you can see. Too many. There are too many? If you said too many, that means that there are a lot. That's what, that what you mean. Is that okay? If... No. There are too many. That means that here, we have a lot. There are enough? There, you can say there are enough. That means we have enough. That we don't need more. That's what what that's what you mean. When you said there are enough police officers, that means we don't need more police officers, we have as many as we need. No. So that, that is what you're you're saying. But if you want, for example, to say, yes, we have police officers, but we still need more because we do not have enough. So which one you're going to use? Many, enough, or fewer? Fewer. 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 Exactly. You need to think about your, your context. So you're right about that. Let me go back and share right now the screen. And then we can compare. Mm -hmm. Exactly, guys. Fewer. It's fewer. So you said they are fewer, fewer. fewer police officers. That means we do have them. We have more than one, but still there is not the quantity that our uh, country or our city needs. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So take a look at the second one. There should be, that means that there is a suggestion, cars in the city. Okay. It's there still, should be fee work. Uh -huh. Let me ask you, cars, is it countable or uncountable now? Countable. Countable. Uh -huh. Countable. So that means, guys, that I'm going to look this side. Let me go back here. I'm going to look this side, right? The one that I'm yeah. highlighting right now. Not the left, the right side, the left side. This means the information or the quantity expression that I need to use is, has to be here in the side. So what I need to decide is which one I'm going to use, right? That is what I'm going to need to decide. So may I ask you, look at the sentence. Which one do you consider that it is better to use? Too many, fewer, more, or are enough? What do you think? Fewer. 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 Does everybody fewer. agree? Yeah? yeah Any fewer. other comment? Uh-huh. Uh fewer cars. Very good. So we have two fewers, right? The first one and the second one. What about, guys, this one? There is public transportation. It's not this is too much. Uh -huh. This is public this transportation. Am I talking about countable or uncountable now? Uncountable. Uh -huh. So that means that I need to look this side, right? Okay, cool. Now that I already identify it, so which one I'm going to use? Too much, less, more, or isn't enough? What do you think? Too, too much. much. Too much. There uh, is too, 
mm -hmm. feature in my case is there is more public transportation. Mm -hmm. But I know I don't know it's okay. There is more public transportation. Yes, you can say that. Okay. No, no. What do you have any other uh, idea or no, any no. other suggestion? There is too much. No. No. There is enough. There is enough. There is enough public transportation. That means that we have the public transportation that we need. Okay, you can say that as well. It depends, guys, of your point of view. What is exactly mm -hmm. would you like to? To see, you can say there is enough. That means that we have the public transportation that we need. Mm -hmm. What is another possibility? Mm -hmm. You said, you somebody said more, right? Yes. Is, is there is too another? Much. Ah, too much. Too much. Too much. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Too much. All right. <clears throat> so which one do you think? It will fit better. Enough, more, or too much? Too much. Mm -hmm. Too much. Too much, right? Too okay, much. too much. Yes, that means that oof, it's enough, right? We need to have less than that. Okay, so too much. Very good job. Okay, guys, excellent. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. And let me raise this really quickly. Da, da, da. What about this one? The government needs to build highways. More. Highways. More. Okay. More. More, more highways. More. Why? More. Because it's uh -huh. uncountable. It's uncountable. It, it's countable, actually. It's highways. Countable. It's countable because you can pluralize it. You can say highway, highways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. More. And in this case, More. guys, you, you can double check on this one because if you notice, guys, the word more, you can use it with countable and uncountable nouns. Yes, you can use it for both. What is going to just make the difference is the, the noun that you use, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> Very good job. Okay. Now, guys, what about number five? There should be noise. Less. 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 Exactly. Because noise is something that you cannot count, right? No count. Uh-huh. It's uncountable. Nice. Riddle. Noise. Less. Very good. What about public parking garages? The city needs? More. 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 Excellent job. Very good. Very good. More. All righty. What about the seventh? There is air pollution in the city. Much. Too, too much. much. Too much. Too much. Exactly. Why is too much and not too many? I'm just asking. Because it's not countable. Uh huh. Exactly. Because you cannot count the air pollution, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. All right. And the last one there are cars parked on the streets. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Exactly. Because cars is something that you can't count very good job guys excellent i'm so proud of you guys very good i now i notice that you understood and what you make me feel you broke my heart <laughs> yeah excellent very good job so you see that it's not complicated all that you gotta do is to figure it out what is exactly the noun that you're using once you know that it's countable and uncountable, then you will select, okay, is this, I'm going to use, is it enough, area enough, more? Well, more is easy, right? Because you can use it with both. And uh, are you going to use less or fewer? Too much or too many? That's it. And of course, um, the few and the few, I'm going to send it to you, okay? Don't worry about that. So you can have like more information that you can use as well to talk about public transportation. Okay, guys. This class is going to be basic listening and speaking, okay? We're going to develop the speak because I want you guys to express yourself. But I had to give it to you, the material, the vocabulary that you need in order for you to express your point of view, okay? With what you have done right now. Excellent. I'm so happy that you almost broke my heart. Okay, guys. So um, I'm going to... 
give it to you. I'm going to select in pairs. No, in pairs, no, because I want you guys to know each other a little bit more. So basically, guys, I'm going to send it to you eight, uh, um, what can I say? Eight announcements. That means eight sentences. But the sentences that I'm going to send it to you, they are not complete. They are not complete. They will be half completed. What you have to do? You got to complete it. With what? With the countable and uncountable nouns, quantity or expression of quantity that we have seen so far. And as well, you got to complete it with the information, guys, of the city or the town that you're living. Okay? That's what I want. So let me double check how many we are right now. Well, 16. With me, 17. But before I divide you in groups, because it's going to be two groups, okay? Two groups of eight. And I'm going to send it to you the information that you're going to work on. So I love just a couple of minutes. Claudia Enriquez is already on the WhatsApp, so we're good on that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, allow me just one moment. Let me put it here. Let me copy. Whoop. There you go. And I always forget, guys, to open the WhatsApp here on the computer. I don't know why I always forget that. But don't worry. I'm almost there. As long as or, or as soon as you received the information, please let me know, okay? Okay. I think it's open right now. Yeah. All right. Cool. I don't know what it took so long. Maybe because I haven't opened my WhatsApp here. There you go. Okay, guys, I just sent it. Did you guys receive it? It's going to be the, the lower part. You have it there? You do? Okay, yes. cool. So if you if you notice, guys, we are going to, there will be like one, two, three, four, five, eight sentences, right? The first one, the city should provide more. We have too many, there's too much, there isn't enough. There should be fewer, we don't have enough. There should be less and we need more. If you, got, if you notice that guys, this is just the first part. You, do, you need to complete that information with your town or your city and then we can discuss it, okay, as a group. But I'm going to divide it right now into groups. So I'm sorry if you don't like one person, <laughs> but it's going to be randomly, okay? Democratically, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. So be ready to accept that invitation, okay? Just allow me one moment. Let me create it. So it's gonna be two groups. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm going to select it automatically. That would be good. Okay. So in the first group, we have Anita, Cody, Cecilia, Claudia, Lisette, Elsie, Vasquez, Gabby, Josue, Marilyn, and Rosa Dahlia. And in the second one, we have Blanky, Brandy, Claudia de Enriquez, Edwin Pineda, Gabby, Jaime, Liu, and Veronica. Okay, guys, please accept the invitation. And you can start working, okay? If you want to, you can uh, do it orally. You don't have to write it. I'm missing Gabby Sanchez and Jose Torres. Berito, all right, Anita, Berito, and uh, Gabby Sanchez. She, you haven't gone into the group yet. There you go. I'm missing only Berito. Berito, you should be in the group, please. Berito, are you there? There you go. Excellent. More. I'm sorry, I don't listen the the Congo. Oh. For me, it's more. What do you think the city should provide us? 
What? Sorry? Uh-huh. What's what's wrong? What's going on? Which part? Which? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, guys, this is the I send you the, the exercise that you have to work on the WhatsApp group. And basically, you have eight sentences. The, but those sentences are incomplete, right? You just have the, the half part of it. So what is exactly that you need to do? You need to complete it with the information of your city or your town. Okay. All of them on Joe's house. All of them. All of them. Come on, Gavi. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Sure. It's not it's not necessary to write it down. What okay. I re what I really care about that right now is that you speak about that. You can say for a hey, guys. Well, I can let you know that, for example, in my theory, there isn't enough, and you continue talking, right? I want you guys to use the eight as in areas. That's what I want. So in my case, I want to listen to you, okay? Because I'm evaluating to you, but you don't know. Ha, I'm, a, I'm a tricky teacher, okay? So just, I, I want you to speak. That's what I need. It's for A and B. No, you, you need to use the eight mm -hmm. sentences. Just B. Just B. Uh, okay. just B. Just B. Uh -huh, exactly, just B. That's what I need. Okay, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to disappear for a little bit when I'm double checking the other guys, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's start. The city should crime is like a crime, no? Uh-huh. Okay. Crime. How is that going? Ah, you're not talking about Very crime. Good. You're talking about something else. Come on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, there Very isn't good. enough. Uh, teacher, we, we try to search a uh, word, uh, delincuencia. How do you say delincuencia? Delincuencia, delincuencia yeah. or violencia? Delincuencia. Delincuencia. But delincuencia <laughs> about what? You're talking about in general or you're talking about delincuente? Delincuente. In, in general. In oh. general, because the it's too much, and then delinquency. Ah, uh -huh. Delinquency. Let's see. Yeah. You can say delinquency. Delinquency. Okay. Delinquency. okay. No, they delinquency. 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 Or you also you can say criminality. And what well. is it? Mm -hmm. What is the difference uh, between crime and delinquency? That crime it is more like organized. Okay. Cool. Continue, Number guys. Four, Do there is enough trees, I think. Yes. Oh. Or parks. What? Oh. Parks. Uh, there is enough. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know. Traffic education. Not enough is on the ball. Clean air. Clean air. Uh, there isn't enough clean air. Sorry. Okay. Limpio. Clean Not air. Is countable or uncountable? It's uncountable before because uncountable. it isn't enough. Uh -huh. Uncountable. Yeah. Oh. There isn't enough clean air, maybe. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yeah. Claudi, I heard, sorry to interrupt you guys. I heard it, Claudia Cecilia. <laughs> okay. I know because we have two Claudias. I heard you said that there's no more in our education about transportation. You said, right? Yes, but uh, I, I think that is it's okay. Uh, there isn't enough uh, vial education or... Uh, no, when you're talking about education vial... Mm -hmm. You can say it in two ways. You can say road safety education, or you said road education. That means road. educación vial. Road, road, uh, uh, road like R O A D. R O D. Yeah. R O D. Road education. Educación vial. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Continue. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Fine. 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 Okay. There should be 
We don't have enough. Trees. What? Trees. Trees. Trees? Oh, okay. Trees? We don't have trees? enough trees. We don't have enough trees. Okay. Okay. There should be less. There should be less. Um, let's see some comfortable. So, um, mm. that is tricky. Mm, nice. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Okay, also you can say less contamination. Yeah. I wasn't sure if contamination was right. <laughs> you cannot say contamination. Pollution. No, po pollution, uh, Jaime, is basically refers uh, about the contamination of the air. Okay. But contamination isn't talking it's about in general. In general. Mm -hmm. It's general. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And garbage also. There should be less garbage. There should be less garbage. Mm -hmm. Or you can say contamination, and contamination in includes or involves all of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Contamination. Finish or not finish? No. Should I give you oh. one? Okay, Just one, one more one. minute. Just one. We need more ambulance. Um. More healthy? Uh huh. We need more hospital. We need more what? I said ambulance. More schools. Or doctors. We need more doctors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Doctors. doctors. Number one is right. Tourist places. Tourist, Tourist places. places. Tourist places. Number two, cars. 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 Three. Uh, pollution. 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 Four, security. Four. Right. Security. 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 Number five, motorcycles. 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 We need we need to more patients. Sorry. We need some more pass. No, patients. 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 Peace. Yes. Peace. We need some more peace. Did you finish? No. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. So, we, uh, yes, of course. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't want to hurt any feelings. Uh. <laughs> All righty, so you're so fast. You're the faster group. Okay, cool. So let's bring everybody together, okay? And then we can discuss what we have uh, wrote or what you think about the situation here in our city or in our town. So let me go back. Let's stop the groups and then we come back together. Maybe you will have something in common. I don't know. That could be. Everybody's coming. Yes. Everybody salsa. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> you see, the teacher loves to dance. I love to dance. Oh, a guy was I'm missing girls and boys. Come on. They don't want to be with us. Come on. I'm easy, people. I was in four. Where is the rest? Hmm. There isn't, there aren't enough students here right now. <laughs> Where do they go? Eh, I don't know, they disappear. Now you <laughs> see, uh, they're coming back. Mm, they heard me. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. uh -huh. I was missing Leo. Leo, where are you? Where, where are you? Ha, come on, also Cody, I'm back. Gabby, you're back. There you go. All righty. Hey, do you like the, the exercise? Yeah, that makes, that makes you feel yes. right. Yes. And at the same time, it makes you speak. Very good. So guys, let's search for that. 
Mm -hmm. and, and maybe we can figure it out. Maybe we have a common problems. I don't know. That could be, or we have difference. It's up to you. Well, for example, let's check the first one, guys. Let me go back and then open it really quickly. So I don't know which city are you talking about. Are you talking about the, the, the country in general, guys? Or you select one city and town specifically, or no? In general, right? In general. In general. OK, cool. So the first one, the, sh the city should provide more. What do you have for that? More spaces. More spaces. Tourist places. Oh, tourist places. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, guys? Yeah? Are you agree with them? Or do you have something different? I think in the in the downtown is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Tourist places. <laughs> because Hi, Leo. having the because we have, uh, we have in the in the coast and the beach uh, for for country is 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 the favorite places for the tourists. Mm hmm but but i think they have improved right yes yeah they have, they have improved yeah. because now you uh, you can visit a lot of things in the downtown well at least has uh, many uh, many more places many places than when i was like a little girl mm. yeah for example now at night you can go to a theater right oh yeah yeah right but you know what? Uh, well, like in 10 years ago, you couldn't because of the security, because of the delinquency. So now it has improved, but it doesn't mean that it needs to continue improving, right? Yeah. To have like more tourist places, I mean, right? About that. that yes, Gabby? More, um, like, llamativo. Attractive? Or, attractive activities. Mm hmm. Very good. You're right about that. Excellent. What about number yes. two? We have too many what? Cars. 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 Yes, you're right. <laughs> I, I don't know what you think, guys, but sometimes I think that there are more transportation than people. What do you think? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. Sometimes it is like, oh, my goodness. Especially when they have the, the payday. Oof. I said, oh, my God where these old cars came from like goodness <laughs> like oh my and you know what you know what is a payday because if you go to a specific shopping mall or restaurant there aren't enough parking lots right yes <laughs> so like oh my god sometimes i had to like leave and ask for delivery because there is no space for me and there is no space for my car as well. Okay, number three. Don't talk about going to the ATM. Ah, yes. Well, no, that's horrible. No way. There, guys, number three. There's too much what? Criminality. Pollution. Pollution. Criminality. Pollution. Exactly. Traffic. Traffic. Mm -hmm. Trash. Oh, yes. Crashes. Trash on, the, trash on the street. Oh, mm -hmm. trash. Yes. Trash. Trash. Yes, you're right about that. Uh, you, you cannot imagine. You know what? I don't know about you guys, but I hate when the people are like in the transportation, private transportation, public transportation, and they throw something from the window. Uh, yes. Oh, it's, my it's God. And I, was yeah. like, oh, and I was like, oh, my God, they're supposed to have education, but <laughs> apparently they don't. Right. And like, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, why you don't like bring like, uh, I don't know, maybe um, a little bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. And just put it inside, and as soon as you arrive back home, you can throw it in your garbage box. But no, oh my goodness, it's so frustrated sometimes, right? It's about sometimes they make their kids do it. Yeah, exactly, and it's really bad because as a parent and as an adult, you should pro you should provide a good example, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you're right about that. Hey, what about let me check? What about the uh, uh, number four? There isn't enough. Clean air security. Security. Okay. Anything else? Clean air. Clean air. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What what about number four? Number five. There should be fewer. Motorcycle. 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 <laughs> Everybody's yeah. a motorcycle. Hey, what, what, what's happened with Google? 
<laughs> and Uber Eats, come on. <laughs> well, but at least, uh, like, oh, you know what? It's because sometimes motorcycles are helpful for the delivery guys. But at the same time, guys, mm. um, well, I think you should be more responsible if you're wearing a, if you are using a motorcycle, right? Yes. For you and respectful as well. Row yeah. educational, right? Because sometimes you said, oh my goodness. They're like, shh, like snakes. And, and sometimes they cause the, the, the accidents, right? But you know mm -hmm. what? It's because um, motorcycles, you can be in a place like in, in less time than the car. Mm -hmm. And also the gasoline, because woof, if you like, if you like fuel all the, the tank of the motorcycle, I think with the half money of the can fuel the car, you can in the gasoline can last for one week, I think, right? So it's less expensive. Sometimes there's people that uh, um that decide to buy um a motorcycle than a car because of the budget, right? Yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Because of the budget and for other uh, on other reasons. For example, I have an ex student from the academy who li he lives in Napopa. Can you imagine? And he he's like a, a he's a stylist. He's a stylist, right? But he's a man stylist, and uh, he works in the Escalon. So can you imagine? From a papa to the Escalon every single day. If yeah. you if you have a car, oh my goodness, it will be like two hundred dollars uh, in two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, yes, they are. It? They are very dieting, mm -hmm. uh, and I I think that they are so uh, they are driving so faster, mm -hmm. and sometimes they come from they come from trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you drive in, I don't know where uh, where come from. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, you need to be very careful. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. The motorcycles, you're right about that. Okay, what about guys? Number six, we don't have enough. Park. Trees. 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 Schools. Schools. What else? Parks. Universities. Universities, okay. Recreation places. Recreation places, Recreation places. very good. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? There should be less. Traffic. Contamination. 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 What else? Traffic. Traffic. Everybody hates traffic, right? Mm -hmm. Violence? Violence? Violence. Violence. Delinquence. Delinquence. Delinquency. 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 You, you need to you say violence. 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 Because if you say violence, it sounds like, uh, like the violin. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Very good. Excellent. And we need more education. Education. Doctors. Doctors. Education. Education. Peace. Peace. What else? Good job. So gasoline prices. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> definitely. Because right now it's almost four dollars per gallon, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I remember those days for two dollars and something. Ooh, that will never come back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So you get, you see, guys, how interesting is this? You see, we have talk, and that's what we need. And you see, guys, that all the vocabulary that we have uh, reviewed, that we have seen, all the expression of quantity that we have seen so far, you see how useful are they to, to put it in practice and to talk about, in this case, problems? Yes. That we talk, that we you see, you see the grammar is not like <sighs> boring. Grammar <laughs> is practical. Yes, and that's why I want you to see how practical it is. All righty, guys. So we still have seven minutes, and now that we have developed the speaking skill, also I'm really uh, concerned about um develop the listening skills. And basically, guys, we're about to listen something. But this is regarding one specific city, which is Singapore. Have you heard about Singapore? No? Where is it located? 
Geography yes. knowledge. Asia. 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 All righty, Asia. Asia. Okay, very good. So we will continue with our main topic, which is the, the um, transportation services and all those stuff. So basically, guys, you're going to listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has strived to solve its traffic problems. And I want you guys to pay attention because after that, I'm going to give you like some specific information of uh, what we have heard. And I want you guys to let me know if what I'm saying is true or what I'm saying is false, okay? So mm -hmm. let me do a couple of minutes. Let me see. Let's see, there you go. Let me search right now for that. Okay, cool. Number nine. Okay, there you go. That's what I need. Okay, guys, let me share right now my screen with you. Listen carefully. Page 9, Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. You want to play it one more time? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Page yes, 9, please. Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. There you go. Was it a little bit difficult to understand that the person was talking? No. No, right? No. Yeah. I, I know so you're so smart yeah. students, I understand. But you, you, can you, you, did you notice, guys, that this person has like a Chinese accent? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was not British accent. It was Chinese accent. Why I'm playing you this, guys? Because at the same time, I want you to get used to the different accents, the people that speaks English, but they're coming from a different country. Okay, so your ear could be like more developed. That's why it plays you that kind of um, listening as well. And, and that person was speaking a little bit faster, which is, which is their normal way to speak, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so let me ask you something according to what you have uh, listened. And may I ask you, um, the, I want you guys to let me know if it's false 
or true when I'm gonna say it. Uh, according to the resident of Singapore, the motorists can't drive into the business direct. Yes or no? False. 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 So why you said it false? What do they need? Because they need a, a, um, a special uh, pass. Uh -huh. What kind of pass? <laughs> like, a, like a pass to drive, right? Yes. OK. What about guys, the people? Do they need a special certificate to buy a car? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, it's true. Yes. It's true. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? There are enough certificates for everyone. False. 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 So, False. what is the correct statement or the correct uh, sentence on this one? There is enough pass. Okay. Very good. May I ask about the cars? Are cars more expensive than in North America? True. Yeah. True, true. Right. True. It's true, exactly. What about the public transportation? Is it good or is it very good? It's very good. Okay, it's excellent. Okay, very good. So guys, eh, you have heard right now about uh, information that a Singapore resident said about uh, the city, right? About its city, traffic problems. So this is what I want you to know. I want you guys to think about the solutions that Singapore adopted and uh, think about it if those uh, solutions will work in our country, yes or no? And yes, why? And if not, why not? That's what I want. It's gonna be your homework for tomorrow, okay? For teacher for tomorrow. Hey. Uh, Monday. 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 Or is Monday. yes, it is Not right. Money. Money. Ah, it's money. No, money. I know. Money. I know money. that is that is money because it's Hava, right? Or Ava. Yes. But in Ava. this case, I use it for like days uh -huh. of the week instead of money, money, money. It's for me. It's Monday, uh -huh. Monday, yes. Monday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So now we'll continue sending to you information that will develop your skill. I sent you something about the plantation. How was it? Was it good? Was yeah, very good. It's good. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to send. Did I send you something for the bit of your listening skill? No, right? I didn't. Only no. punctuation, right? Only okay. a song. Only what? A song. Ah, no, that is different, different, Jaime. So I'm going to send you three things. So you're going to remember me for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to send you uh, everything that's going to be related to listening skills, but this is going to be British accent, okay? okay? Because if you handle British accent, you will be able to handle the rest. Okay. Uh, okay. So what I want you to, um, it's going to be like something that might sound easy, but sometimes it's not. And I want you guys to develop how it will be like the dict dictation exercise like that. And it's regarding names, numbers, and email addresses. Okay? Because it's really important. You're going to need a lot. Sometimes you say, ah, yes, your last name is Johnson, like the shampoo. But guess what? It's not, you don't write it like that way. So sometimes we know that, or we think that that first name and last name, for example, we know how to write it, but it's nothing to do with what we thought. So it's really important also to develop that skill. Okay, so I'm gonna send it to you today or no later than tomorrow, okay? Okay, guys, you have to eat or sleep, okay? Hugs, three pieces. Mm. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye